Hi friends, this is Sophie at Stuti's Cuisine. Hope you all are doing fine by God's grace. Today I'm coming with a very unique recipe. So let's go through the ingredients and how we make it and hope you all will like it. It's a different recipe. It's again making use of the trash you throw. It's nothing but a raw plantain skin cutlets. It's a vegan cutlet. It's made out of vegetables. Again, thank you for all the subscribers who have been subscribing. Also, don't forget to like, share and comment. As you all know, so once you consume it, your belly is very happy because it clears your belly and your intestines every day. The planted skin is very nutritious, high in fiber and vitamins and minerals too. It's high in vitamin B1, B2, B6, potassium and to make cutlets out of it is also very tasty besides the nutrition. So why not make use of it instead of throwing it away? Uh, I remember my mom uh, years ago there was a competition and she had won a prize for it and finally she backed the rolling trophy. So I wish to impart this particular raw plant and skin cutlets which will be useful uh, to many of us. Hope you like this session and also spread the word around so that people can make use and benefit from it. The ingredients for plantain peel cutlets and that's a vegetarian cutlets. It's a vegan cutlet. Okay, so I've taken three of these size of uh, plantain. Um, so I will be showing how I peel the skin. The ingredients are five to eight uh, green chilies or the spiciness you like. You can increase it or decrease it. Cumin powder, one teaspoon. Red chili powder, one teaspoon. Uh, garam masala, one teaspoon. Uh, turmeric powder, half or one fourth of a teaspoon. Uh, chaat masala with um, amchur masala together, one teaspoon. Salt to taste. Then I've taken five to six uh, uh, garlic and one inch uh, ginger together. I'm going to grate it or grind it. This is the blanched or boiled in the microwave, the mixed vegetables, peas, carrots, uh, corns and beans, which I will be grinding it or just mashing it and two potatoes. Okay, and I'll be putting two tablespoons of paneer grated. So the most important is the three plantain, which I took now. So I just want to show you how I'm going to use the peel. So we are going to cut the sides of it. Okay, and I've got water close to me. And you're just going to take out this outside skin, okay? Just this way. Not much because we are we want the skin. So we just take if it comes out, we just remove it, whatever comes up to. And as you know, it's a very good roughage. We try to throw most of the things and now we we realize that all this is so good. See, this is how you take it out. Let's see. See, this way. Whatever comes out, we can take it out, okay? So you just take the outer skin and then just dip it, okay? And if you think your hands are getting black, you can put a little oil on your hands. You can also use a peeler just to take the outside. See, it comes out very well. Don't take all the skin out from inside, just the outside. So here I've taken out two of the skins and put it, soaked it in water. So how you take out the skin is just go through it from top to bottom. Okay, it's, it's nothing, it's not a big thing to take out the skin. You can just take it out any how as you prefer it to take it out. Okay, then you just have to just pull it out this way. Just pull it out this way. You know? It's raw, so um, it won't come like the right plant in out, right? So just take it out and just, just press it and similarly take out the whole thing. It doesn't come out in between, just, just slit it from near the, okay, near the skin and just go around it. And even if it breaks, it's okay. Just soak it in water, okay, and continue taking it out again. So this is the skin of the three plantain and this is the fruit of it which is raw and it's already skinned. So we can make cutlets out of uh, the plantain too but the, today's main um, session is on the plantain skin. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is this plantain skin, which is already taken, I'll just show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to just slit it into long slices and it's going to be chopped, okay? So, in very small pieces. This is what it's going to be. I'll show you when I finish chopping and I'm going to chop this again so that it becomes very fine. So this is what it's going to be like. It's going to be chopped this way. I'm going to do the rest of the skin and I'll... So here is, so here is the one. I have uh, chopped it very fine and I've put it in, just soaked it in the water so that the, it won't get blackened. Okay, so this is going to be transferred. Okay. So you see from three of the plantain, I got so much of the skin and if it is organic, if it's growing in your own uh, backyard or field, there's no need of even removing the outer green part. You can just uh, cut the two ends and just use it. So I'm going to put a slight water and put it on the fire for it to just cook. I'll switch on the fire. Okay. And there's a lot of water in the skin itself. I'll close it. Put some salt. Just a little bit. And let it get cooked. Okay. And in the meantime, I'm going to break the potatoes and I'll get... So here, I'm just taking it out. So I've kept the pan on fire. I'm going to put just maybe two tablespoons of oil, any oil. I've removed the plantain skin out once it's cooked, okay? And some oil, two tablespoons, and I'm going to put the onions. I forgot to tell you about the ingredients, the onions and the breadcrumbs. Okay, so let it just saute so it's translucent. We don't want it to get brown, but just saute it, okay? Then we can put some salt. And then you'll taste for the end and see whether it's, it has got enough salt because I put salt for the uh, plantain skin when it was getting boiled. Okay, we need to put the ginger garlic and the green chilies which I just grated it. Don't put too much of oil because when you make the cutlets it might crack. Okay, okay and this is the vegetables which I just mashed. Okay, then put that. All that is also going to be sauteing. I'm going to put the turmeric. The red chili powder. This is the anchor and the mango powder. So put that too. Then comes the cumin powder. The Korean leaves. I didn't mention that too in the ingredients, right? So that is why we have to see the whole session because in between you don't know what is being put right got a masala that's very important i'm going to put this plantain skin which is already cooked okay so when we are cooking this cutlet things we have to see that we don't we'll use less of water because it will get um, when you fry it or shallow fry it it might burst so use less of water and oil as much as possible so that's the reason i put it in the sewer and kept it to drain. So you mix all this and then finally comes the potatoes. Here comes the potatoes which I've grated and kept. There's two potatoes and I put half of a very large um, onion, half of it. The main thing is the banana skin. It's very nutritious. My mom had uh, done this cutlets once for a competition and she won the prize for it so somebody thought oh my god but I've, I've tried I don't know whether I've tried it but I've eaten it it was so good and it's usually people who like the plantain and that variety of maybe just of uh, vegetable they would love this we will taste and see whether it has got enough salt mm, some more salt okay mix it all it's done it's so easy isn't it this is the grated paneer I'm going to put the grated paneer. Okay, and we'll have to mix it. And it's done. See? Let's mix it. So this is the mixture. I transferred into this large bowl. I can make it into the shape. But I'm putting some more of this bread crumbs just to get it a little more full. See if there's enough salt. This is perfect. Now let me just taste and see. A little more salt. 
and sit together nice. If you have any shape, like heart shape or whatever, you can make it into that shape or oval shape, round shape or elongated. Anything as you prefer. So here it is, okay? So I'm going to make the cutlets into the desired shape, however you want. However big or small you want, you can make it. Okay, I'm making it into a lemon size. Just press it between your palms and just go this way. Okay, and if you've got a clean, clean um, countertop, you can just roll it this way. So which means you get a nice. Okay, here you go. And I'm just going to keep it aside. Okay, looks beautiful. Just put it around. You get a nice edge. Okay. So I've made shaped around five. And this is green flour, which I've put around two tablespoons and put some water and made it into a, a liquid. Okay. And this is bread plants and this is rubber or semolina. So you can either make semolina and the breadcrumbs or you can just uh, dip the cutlets into the liquid uh, plain flour and uh, you can dip into either of one. Okay, so I'm now dipping it into the flour first, okay? And then I just drop it here. Flour and drop it here. So now what I'm going to do is just coat it gently with the breadcrumbs. Okay. And the other one, I'm going to just coat it once in this plain flour liquid and on the inside the semolina. So you got both of it coated. And also, if you want, you can again dip it once more inside this uh, plain flour and dip it again. And I've kept the oil on fire. So see that it's coated well. And just make it nice with your hand so that it's well coated. Okay, and then place it there. And this is the rubber or the semolina. Okay, you can do any of this as you wish and whatever is available at home, you can make use of it. And you, even if these two are not there at home, you can even just dip it in this plain flour liquid and then just uh, dab it with the uh, flour what is uh, there at home. So the pan is on fire now and I'm going to put my cutlets. Don't overcrowd the pan. This is just enough. It shouldn't be too hot. Just medium, medium or medium low. Otherwise, you can deep fry it too if you want. Don't turn it over now itself because give it some time to brown underneath. So in another one, I was just thinking we can just put a depression inside. I'll put a small piece of cheese little bit of ketchup or tomato sauce and then we're just going to close it okay see that the tomato sauce and the cheese does not come up come out okay so you need that should be in the middle and then you just have to slowly press it and fry it stir it wait it out two three times I prefer this one to that one. So the bread crumbs are better than the semolina coated. This is the presentation of the veg vegetarian vegetable cutlet. It's purely vegan. Uh, so you see here, you have the cheese in between. Okay, and let me just taste and see how it is. Mm, very crunchy on the outside. banana flavor. It's so good. Mm. It's very good. All of you should try it. It's worth trying. Mm. I will give a suggestion that to shallow fry it is much better. Um, it's very crispy and very tasty. I must tell you that. Please try it. Share it amongst your friends and relatives. Strike the bell button and your likes and comments are most appreciated. Thank you for viewing and have a great day.